Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about topic the probability and impact matrix. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management or you are planning to give exam of BMP in near future. So let's start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, probability and impact matrix. This is a topic which we have taken from the project management body of knowledge. And <clears throat> this is an important topic with respect to exam point of view. At least uh, four to five questions will definitely be there in the exam in which your concepts related to uh, this matrix or risk identification will be checked. <clears throat> Basically, this topic pertains to the risk chapter of project management body of knowledge. Uh, friend probability and impact matrix whenever we talk about the uh, perform qualitative risk analysis process basically in this process we identify the risk and define the probability and impact so that we can do the response planning now the probability means that the chances of occurrence of that event like for example you have uh, identify a risk ABC risk you have identified now you will identify that what is the probability of that risk of occurrence that how many chances for example 50% chances are there that this probability this risk will occur the second thing is that we will identify the impact of that risk impact means that what is the impact in terms of financial in terms of uh, time cost so uh, in terms of revenue so we will define we will identify the impact so there are now two things with respect to the risk probability and impact risk is the uncertain condition of a project like you don't know that it will happen or not happen it will happen so it will have some probability and impact probability and impact means probability is the chances of an occurrence of a risk impact in terms of uh, time and cost now <clears throat> the, uh, the process is that first of all we have to identify all the risk we know that risk is the uncertain condition of a project then assess the probability of each risk occurring and assign it at rating for example you could use a scale of 1 to 10 assign a score of 1 when a risk is extremely unlikely to occur and use a score of 10 when the risk is extremely likely to occur estimate the impact on the project if that risk occur again do the same uh, approach that using your 1 to 10 scale assign it a 1 for little impact and a 10 for huge catastrophic impact then map out the rating ratings on the risk impact probability chart develop a risk response to each risk according to its position in the chart okay so this is basically the approach let me give you a example very simple example of probability and impact matrix here on the on the uh, vertical axis we have a probability the chances of a recurrence of an event or a risk on the uh, horizontal axis we have the impact of that risk on the project so right now we are talking about a risk that how much it has a probability and how much it will have the impact now the every probability will have the low medium and high probability okay similarly the impact will also be low mid and medium and high for example <coughs> a probability of a risk is very high and the impact is low so we will consider it as a low probability is medium and the impact is also low so we will consider this as a low probability is low and impact is also low so we will consider it as a low and for these types of risk uh, risk responses is good but if you ignore it so you can park it somewhere else and you can consider it later probability is high and impact is also medium so we will consider it 
for risk responsible planning. Probability is medium and impact is also medium, so we'll consider it for risk responsible. Probability is low and impact is also medium, so we will ignore it. We can park it for later stage. Now the red one. A red one is very important or uh, that means probability is very high and impact is also high so we will mark it as the high and we will mark it as a red so that means we must have a response planning for that again a probability is medium and impact is high so we will consider it as a yellow we need a response planning probability is low and impact is high so we'll consider it as a low so friend basically if you just see the color combination here if uh, for example these green uh, things green uh, column and green cells so that means it has the uh, as per the score as per the color uh, we can mark it we can consider it as for later stage or we can uh, we can give it some low priority the yellow is very important and uh, yellow mark uh, says must need some risk response planning that means you must have the uh, plan that if that risk occurs so how much how you would handle it the high is the red one is a very important uh, cell and uh, a very important risk and you must have a risk response planning so that means if that type of risk occur in a project it will have a catastrophic impact on your project and you can say it will destroy your project simple way so you must have to um, you must have a risk response planning you must have the response of that risk uh, risk that how will you handle that risk if that occur so a friend you can see from here uh, the main objective of the probability and impact matrix in the uh, risk basically uh, risk process is that we identify the risk with respect to its chances of occurrence that is probability and the impact in terms of time and cost <clears throat> based on that we assign a score of the risk so that we can uh, we can mark it's uh, we can calculate or we can uh, recognize its priority for that uh, for that project for example if the green ones risk you can give low priority and for the yellow and the high red uh, risk you will assign the highest priority or you must consider it on immediate basis so friend i thank you thanks a lot for uh, watching the video i hope you like this video if you like it please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends